in this forecast. Hurricane Ian is finally done, but where will its remnants head next? A huge cold blast will drop low temperatures into the 20s and 30s for many areas this week. And a hurricane in the Pacific Ocean is about to make landfall in Mexico. All of that and more is coming right up. Before we talk about the cold blast, let's first talk about Ian, which actually no longer exists, but it is still producing some shower activity to the mid-Atlantic regions and will to southern New England over the next couple of days. We'll begin to still see some scattered showers and some downpours across areas like Virginia, North Carolina, and through Delaware and New Jersey going over the next 48 hours, but eventually Ian will finally move off the coast again and will not re-strengthen into anything, but there may be some shower activity back up near southern New England heading into potentially midweek so we'll have to watch that closely but again no restrengthening is expected as of right now now let's talk about the pattern across the united states we've seen some shower and storm activity and even not just that but some snow to the higher elevations back over in the rocky mountains over the last few days and that is all due to this little weak low pressure system that's currently back out that direction but heading into the next several days we'll still have high pressure dominating the central and southern united states but eventually heading into mid to late week we'll have this big trough that comes out of Canada that will bring much cooler weather that will usher in a lot of colder air to areas like the Midwest and as well as even potentially to the Ohio Valley heading into this upcoming weekend and this is a look at the temperature anomalies which is showing the warm and cooler temperatures that compared to average which the reds is going to represent above average temperatures so at least through early to midweek will still be above average for most of the United States but this is where you can see a lot of this dark blue and even some pink colors are showing which represents well below average temperatures are coming to areas in the northern plains all the way through the midwest and again look at this cold air that will be potentially ushering into areas back up in wisconsin lows could drop into the 20s and highs may only be as warm basically as the 40s it's going to get very cold out there and there may even be a little bit of some flurries in some areas i'll show you more on that here in just a second but eventually going through the weekend we'll see those impacts eventually be felt across new england and eventually going into the next week we'll even see more potentially colder air so we'll have to watch this pretty closely but it looks to be a pretty chilly upcoming week in areas like Wisconsin and all the way back through New England. And this is a look at the low temperatures heading into Friday morning. Again, GFS model is currently indicating we could be in the mid to upper 20s if you're waking up Friday morning. And elsewhere, we could still be talking about the 30s. Now, high temperatures will not be much of an improvement. High temperatures for a lot of areas only in the upper 30s and low to mid 40s across a large area of the Midwest. So you will need your jacket heading into at least this upcoming weekend across these areas. Now, the climate prediction center is currently indicating it will be well below average or at least likely be well below average in areas up in the northeastern United States and as well as through again the Midwest and even potentially it could even get a little bit chilly down in areas like Florida over the next six to ten days this would be from Friday to next Tuesday so again monitor this pretty closely you may have to bring out your jacket especially across areas in the Mississippi Valley all the way back through the Northeast now taking a look at the precipitation we won't see a whole lot in terms of rain up until Thursday but eventually that little trough back up in Canada could bring again isolated flurries i don't expect any accumulation as of right now but there may be a few flurries back up there or at least some sort of wintry mix but again no impacts are expected right now that'd be in the upper michigan peninsula if there is to be anything going to thursday and friday and eventually going to saturday high pressure will again build into these areas so we probably will not see a whole lot of precipitation going to then but we might even see more precipitation going to the great lakes region maybe heading into the late weekend so we'll have to watch that pretty closely before going into the atlantic tropics i do want to mention Hurricane Orlean, which is in the Pacific Ocean, but it's about to make landfall in Mexico, and this is a system that not a whole lot of people are talking about, but it's about to be, if not it already is, a Category 3 hurricane by this forecast is uploaded. It has actually a pretty defined eye, and not just that, but there is a lot of deep convection with this as well, and it's again going to be moving off to the north and northeast towards areas in Mexico. Here's a current look from the National Hurricane Center's track. There are hurricane warnings actually already in effect for these areas. Sustained winds at the given time of this forecast is at 110 miles per hour it's probably gonna be higher though by the time you see this but eventually going into tuesday or monday night excuse me it's gonna make landfall as around a category one either a very strong category one hurricane or maybe just a low-end category two hurricane but either way potentially some substantial damage could come to those areas in mexico also taking a quick look at the atlantic tropics we have two areas to watch only one is actually shown on the map and it's this area here that currently has a 70 percent chance of developing over the next five days it's likely to become a 
a potentially a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Now, it's not forecast to impact the United States. It will move off to the northwest and probably eventually turn back out to the northeast out to sea. So it won't impact the United States. But there's one other tropical wave right now in the western Atlantic Ocean that has a low chance, I would say maybe about a 10% chance over the next five to seven days of maybe developing. If anything, if it does develop, it would likely be a very weak system, maybe in the southwestern Caribbean Sea. But it is a system to watch maybe for those over near the Yucatan Peninsula or anywhere right there in Central America. We'll have to watch those areas pretty closely for maybe a little system that might develop, not forecast to become a hurricane at this given time or anything like that. Also, a quick look at the precipitation over the next seven days. Are you going to see rain? Well, if you see any of these areas in white, those areas are currently not forecasted to see a single drop of rain over the next seven days. The only areas that really will see any precipitation would be across the northern and central plains and also back through the four corner states and as well as through Canada and as well as maybe the northeast. But other than that, there's a huge gap here in the central portions of the United States and as well as through the Mississippi Valley here over the next seven days. So a drought may continue for these areas. Make sure to hit the like button down below. Make sure to subscribe if you've not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting.